So Luke, the the, the coloration of the rocks, the is it could I it would it be fair to say it's a really simple way of thinking about a layered cake? Yeah, that's that's right. As we spoke last time, uh, you've got a sedimentary sequence or sedimentary layers, you know, sandstone, siltstone, shales. Uh, those have been folded in this particular area into anticlines. As you like compressed. Which are the, yeah. yeah, compressed and folded. Yep. That's the, the peaks were the anticlines. The, the troughs synclines. were the synclines. Yep, yep you remembered. I work. remembered, yeah. Uh, so when we log this, we sort of, that ha this helps us identify where we are within that sequence uh, on our way to the target. Yeah, so you would notice changes, distinct changes of the type of rock? Uh, yeah, that's right. It's all a sedimentary rock, but like I said, there's sandstones and siltstones. So you can sort of see there, it goes very fine grained back into a coarse grain uh, sandstone or a grit. Uh, from that we can tell well the bedding is facing a certain direction okay and that can help us work out all right are we in a syncline or are we on the anticline so that then feeds back into your geological yeah, model your that, geological that, thesis for that area that's, that's right so the, the mineralization in the comet area is associated with faults that cut across this sequence okay uh, but to, to understand that we need to know well how is the the country rock, as we like to call it, folded. The country rock. Now, remember last time we were here, I asked you about what mistakes investors make, and it's about collecting evidence in terms of your geological thesis. Yeah. So this is it, right? This is the money shot. Th that's right. Um, lots of investors think that, well, why don't you just drill the mineralization? But a big part of the what we do is figuring out what's the structure like around us, and then that helps us target where the mineralization is most likely to be. Fantastic, how exciting.